Hello and a warm welcome from All Hallows Church to our midweek moment. For all our friends in the nursing homes and everywhere if you're on your own and joining us today. We are in the season of Advent, which for all Christians, we are getting ready for Christmas and the birth of the Lord Jesus. This year has been a strange one. We have not been able to visit the local nursing homes and we do miss those occasions when we come along to see you all, to sing and pray together and to chat. Let us say a prayer. We continue to pray for our friends in the local nursing homes. Lord, reassure them that they are safe and being well looked after. We pray also for the staff who look after you. We bless you all. Amen. And now we sing our first carol, O Come All Ye Faithful. Our reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, starting at verse 8. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news and great joy for all the people. 
To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a, a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and a child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told of them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Thank you for the reading, John. And we join together in singing While Shepherds Watch Their Flocks by Night. side where the shepherds were there were also two animals a bird and a worm watching and as the angels disappeared and the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem they said to each other I'm going too the old sheepdog said I can guard the holy family me too said the fluffy sheep, following behind. I can provide a fleece to keep them warm. And just then, the little robin started to sing, sitting on a fence. He whistled merrily. 
I can go and sing for him, said Robin. Then the worm said, I'll come too. What can you give him, said Robin. I don't know, but I'd like to come along anyway, said the worm. And off they went. Arriving at the place where Jesus was born, they gave their gifts to the family. And the baby stretched out his hand and touched the worm's head. At that very moment, it glowed with a bright light. And from that moment on, the little creature was known as a glow worm. Tiny but important and shining out in the darkest night. And we thank God that however tiny our, we are and however small our light is, we can shine for him. Amen. Would you like to join me for the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us and bring us a joyous Christmas. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And we wish you all a lovely Christmas. And a happy new year. And now we sing the carol, Silent Night. Silent night, holy night, cease the Jesus